Surface radar has a new contact. General quarters, general quarters, all hands man your battle stations. Set condition zebra throughout the ship. Contact able. Stern depth quarters. charge detail manned and ready. Eight. Ahoy, captains. Uncle Neo here, fresh off patrol in the North Atlantic. Except instead of hunting convoys, I'm protecting them. Surface with a preview of the upcoming Destroyer, the U-Boat Hunter game. This game's been in development for a couple of years. A few of you have probably seen the demo and got to, ch got to play in the closed beta. So quite a few people know what this game consists of, but I'm going to go through some of the basics here. Kind of follow along, and if you have any questions, post them in the comments. So overall, the first main station is the bridge, where you can control the speed, course, it's got a bearing indicator you can rely on. You can change the rudder settings. Uh, the next station would be sonar, which is very important for destroyer. This gives you an option to make your sweep wider up to 180 degrees or focus. You can change from relative to magnetic bearing. And you have the TRR, the target range reporter, which helps you determine the optimum time to drop your depth charges. Then we go to the combat station, and we've got five sections here. First, of course, is radar. Anytime a submarine's on the surface, you can pick them up on radar. You can set up your depth charge pattern and your depth with the handy icons on the left. The next section is the DRT, which is basically a chart room that puts down all the contacts and puts down your relative position and allows you to have a good overview of what's going on around you. You can use the ruler to mark the position of the targets as they're called into you from your sonar or radar reports. Okay, let's switch over to the contact board. Contact. This is a list of all the contacts you received with their range, bearing, estimated course, and speed. The tactical screen is similar to the DRT. This is another listing of all the targets your convoy merchants and your other escorts and planes that are supporting you. You can direct your escorts to sweep a certain area, change location, or engage known contacts. So the next station we're going to look at is the gun director. You're looking through a sight and you control the gun with this. You can zoom in and see it pretty clearly. As you see, I have to see a periscope feather off in the distance. You can aim the gun with radar assist, and the targeting is pretty good. You can also shoot star shells, it illuminates the targets below it. Plus, it looks cool as hell. This target is obviously dived. That's why it says no target available. There's nothing to see or shoot at. And next, the lookout station. You have the port, bow, stern, and starboard positions you can look around you in. You can zoom with the binoculars, get a closer view of things that are in the distance. Uh, it is a challenge to pick out a periscope because they're not up very often, so you have to be looking in the right place at the right time. But if you don't have sonar or radar contact, this is what you need to do. You need to be scanning the ocean, not only to look for contacts, but to make sure you don't run into your own ships. Don't ask me how I know. This game gives you all the tools you need to be effective in combating U-boats. It's about to be released into early access, so it's not finished. It does have a few things that need to be smoothed out and probably some additional features added to it, like a campaign. But for just random convoy encounters, it's great. It really is engaging and challenging, and it's not overwhelming because they do have some of the stations automated if you choose to do them that way. There's also an option for external view because, well, who doesn't want to look at these cool ships firing their depth charges into the air, going after those submarines? And speaking of subs, the AI is pretty balanced. I know that they've made some tweaks to it, and the goal was to make the enemy U-boats behave as realistically and historically as possible and give them the same limitations, 
but at the same time, make them aggressive enough to where it becomes a challenge to the player. And the more you votes that are in the mission, the greater the challenge. If you've played enough games as the U-boat or submarine player, then you have a pretty good idea of what to expect from these submarines. As more contacts are detected, they're added to the board. What really separates this game from some of the recent games I've played, it's got some excellent tutorials and tactic guides. It tells you everything you need to know about ASW warfare, about the habits of U-boats, of the attacking patterns, of defenses. I just have to take my hat off to the developers for putting this much effort and time into these guides. If you're a new player and you really don't understand anything except fire depth charge, this is going to help get you up to speed pretty quick. Zero on the left. These three-digit codes are called bearings. and they You can see the developers put a lot of time and effort into getting you comfortable with the game and learning how to play it to be effective and get as much enjoyment out of it as you can. This is the kind of thing that's good for new players as well as experienced players. Who wants to start a new game and get completely overwhelmed and really not understand how anything works? And f sometimes we're just afraid to ask because we don't want to be that guy that doesn't know everything. Well, I don't know everything, and I really appreciate this kind of assistance. Bear in mind that the deeper you set the fuse, the longer it takes the depth. Because of that, pay close attention to what the tutorial says about using the TRR, as it will make the difference between success and failure. You can proceed with the tutorial. The tutorial consists of a very well scripted mission that gives you objectives to learn and how to handle All your destroyer. Ahead, standard. Aye, sir. You get a target, you get instructions on how to get contact on the target, and you learn how everything works, each of the stations, and how you collect the data to prosecute a successful depth charge attack. There are AI assists that will help you with your plotting and the TRR, because let's face it, Contact you're going to have your hands full keeping up zero, with the other ships, three, with the other five, escorts, directing them on multiple U-boats. It's going to be a lot of stuff to do, so the assists are very important. But you do have the option of doing everything manually if that's what you like. Load illumination round. Illuminate three, five, zero, relative. Contact able, now bears zero. Two, niner, range 1,100 yards. One of the aspects of Destroyer U-Boat Hunter that I like is the immersive atmosphere of the game. Here's a situation where I've got a U-Boat, I lit them up with star shells, and then I turn on the searchlights, and I luckily found his periscope, so he's moving into attack position, and I'm watching him. I've got him lit up, he's not going to get away from me. All those years of playing Aces of the Deep and Silent Hunter and now Wolfpack, this is what I've been waiting for. A chance to dish out some revenge on those U-boats. Now I know what it feels like to strike second. Now as I said earlier, it is important to bear in mind the game is not finished, so there are some areas that are still being worked on. I find that the compass headings that are being reported sometimes don't match what I can see. But I'm confident from the responses I've gotten from the developer, this will get fixed. Now, the action window is a little bit of a cheat, but it is enjoyable to watch the action, so I'm not complaining. I think it would be great if there was an option to either turn it off or mask out the surface ships and where they are, so the player's not tempted to use that visual in their targeting. Those are the results you're looking for. In its current state, the game has plenty of customizable options. You can pretty much set up any kind of game you want, along with some really good presets. And games can last anywhere between an hour and five hours, so you can definitely get your fill of hunting new boats. Well, mates, that's all for now. This preview has completely covered everything that I've seen on this game so far. I strongly recommend taking a look at this one. This is a pretty nice game. It's a lot of fun to play. I don't think you'll be disappointed. The dev team's got this one to a very playable state, and they're very, very enthusiastic about adding a lot more content and reaching the full potential. Well, that's all for now, mates. Good hunting, and don't forget to close the hatch.
I'll leave you some highlights from some recent games I played this week. Bloodhound, this is Antler. Antler now has sonar contact. Able, bearing two, nine, three, range, 500 yards. Your bearing, one, three, five, relative, range closing quickly. I say again, CBDR. Act, able, bearing, zero, five, five, range, 900 yards from Bloodhound. All engines ahead, one third. All engines ahead, one third. Aye, sir. Rudder, 15 degrees right. Rudder, 15 degrees right. Aye, sir. Bloodhound, this is Antler. Antler now has sonar contact. Able, bearing, zero, five, five. Range, 700 yards from Bloodhound. Bridge, starboard lookout. Object, one half to the horizon. Bearing, zero, one, one. Relative appears to be Periscope Feather. Bloodhound, this is Antler. Antler now has sonar contact. Able, bearing, zero, five, one. Range, 500 yards from Bloodhound. Rudder, 20 degrees left. Rudder, Bloodhound, this is Antler. Antler now has sonar contact. Able, bearing, two, four, seven. Range, 600 yards from Bloodhound. Sonar contact. Able. Bearing. Zero. Five. Four. Fire range two. from Bloodhound. Bloodhound. This is Black Cat. Fire three. Periscope feather sighted. Northwest. Two miles from convoy. Ready depth charges. Shallow pattern. Bloodhound. This is Antler. Antler now has sonar contact. Relative, Aye, sir. appears to be Periscope Feather. Steady as she goes. Aye. Steady on course. Two, seven, four. Hundred yards. Wake on right cut. Fire one. Bloodhound. This is Antler. Antler lost contact. Fire two. Last known at bearing two, zero, nine. Fire three. Range. Three thousand two hundred yards from Bloodhound. Ready to combat charges. sonar. Shall lost out. contact. Table. Last bearing, two, one, one, relative. Last range, 100 yards. Five. Bearing steady. Ready on course, two, six, seven. Bridge, starboard lookout, object one half to the horizon. Bearing, zero, zero, three. Relative appears to be periscope feather. Combat sonar, contact, able. Now bears, three, New two, three. Three, zero. relative, fire one, range, 100 yards, very strong, combat fire two, two, lost contact, able, last bearing, two, fire three, five, six, relative, last range, 100 yards, bearing steady. One, zero, six, lost contact, zero, able, last thousand, bearing, one, one yard, six, zero, last range, 1,000 yards. Bloodhound, this is Black Cat, air support, no longer available, minimum fuel. Bloodhound, this is Antler, Antler regained contact, Baker. Bearing two, two, three, rain. All engines ahead, one third. All engines ahead, one third. Aye, sir. Contact able now bears zero, zero, two, range one thousand two hundred yards.
All engines ahead, two thirds. Aye, sir. Surface radar has regained contact. Able, bearing, three, one, eight. Range, 1,200 yards. Contact, able, now bears, three, one, eight. Range, 1,200 yards. Course, zero, zero, zero. Aye, sir. Contact, able, now bears, zero, zero, three. Range, 2,100 yards. Rudder, 15 degrees right. Rudder, 15 degrees right. Aye, sir. Contact, able, now bears. Load illumination round. Illuminate three, five, one, relative. Contact, able, now bears, zero, one, six, range, 1,400 yards. Illuminate zero, zero, one, relative. Load point detonating rounds. Contact, able, now bears, zero, two, four, range, 1,200 yards. Start tracking contact, target acquired, target, fire, zero, zero, one, relative, range, 1,200 yards. Fire. Bridge, port lookout, object one half to the horizon, bearing three, five, one, relative, appears to be periscope feather. Sonar, contact, Baker, now bears two, seven, two, range, 1,500 yards, bearing steady. New course, zero, two, zero, course, zero, two, zero, aye, sir. Combat sonar, contact, able, now bears, zero, 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 range, 900 yards, eight, range, 100 yards, combat sonar, lost contact, able, last bearing, two, one, eight, last range, 100 yards, bloodhound, this is Antler, Antler now has sonar contact, able, bearing, two, one, two, range, 100 yards, from bloodhound. Bridge, starboard lookout, oil slick, bearing, one, seven, three, relative, bridge, starboard lookout, merchant ship, CBDR, bearing, zero, two, nine, relative, range closing quickly, I say again, CBDR, able, sir, bearing, two, one, zero, range, 800 yards, from Bloodhound. Starboard lookout, oil slick, bearing, zero, two, five, Rudder. relative, degrees right, rudder, 15, degrees right, aye sir, aye sir. Contact, able. Now bears zero, four, one, range, 1,200 yards. All engines ahead standard. All engines ahead standard. Aye, sir. Rudder amid bearing steady. Rudder amidships. Aye, sir. Hundred yards from Bloodhound. Ready depth charge combat sonar contact able now bears two two three range one hundred yards rudder ten degrees left rudder ten degrees left I sir rudder twenty degrees left rudder twenty degrees left I sir estimated depth medium 
we don't get sonar contact, we're not going to be able to do anything. Combat sonar, what contact, Charlie, now bears, zero, of, one, eight, range, 900 yards, estimated depth, medium. Bunch of decking. They're going to have a hard time walking around on that yards. boat. That was close. Good thing I looked at the last second. You boys, watch where you're going. God, they're awful close. They're going to crash. They're going to crash and end the mission for me. Bloodhound, this is Mountie. Mountie regained. Contact Charlie. Bearing 1, 2, 4. Range 800 yards from Bloodhound. Contact Baker. Now bears 1, 1, 0. Range 4,100 yards. Antler, Bloodhound. This is Antler. Right. Antler, 4, for him. 5. Range 600 yards. From Bloodhound. Bloodhound, these this is Mountie. Mountie made a death charge attack on contact. Charlie, unknown results. Antler, this is Bloodhound. Engage contact. Able. Roger. Antler engaging. All right. Sonar. Destruction here. When you can start pinging again. Lookouts. We're doing good. Combat DRT. Way over here. Let's clear this out. Go to a thousand meters. Get this out of my way. Okay, we still got radar. Looks like it. That's him right there. Hell, that's where the convoy is. How do you get over there? Nobody's after him. I am. 1759. What time is it now? 1800? We need a new radar contact. Still got radar. Now bears zero nine zero range two hundred yards. Brit starboard lookout torpedo in the water. Yep, he's right here. Bearing zero. We're turning eight, as sharp as eight. we can. Relative combat sonar contact Baker. Now bears zero yep, still eight six range one hundred yards. yards. Bearing I'm drifting right. Estimated depth shallow. Stand by to fire. Bearing steady. Fire one, combat sonar, lost contact, Baker, last bearing, zero, eight, six, last range, 100 yards, ready depth charges, shallow pattern, Bridge. fire two, oh, look out, merchant ship, CBDR, bearing, three, three, nine, relative, range closing quickly, fire three. I say again, CBDR, Bridge. starboard lookout, oil slick, bearing, one, fire seven, one. eight, relative, Ready depth charges. Shallow More pattern. Fire two. Slits. Rudder amidships. Fire Rudder three. Ships. Aye, sir. All right. So that's him. Let's go back and look at Solar contact. Able. No contact. Somebody said they had radar contact on somebody a few minutes ago. I don't know who it was. Bloodhound. This is Mountie. Mounty lost contact. Charlie, last known at charge. bearing 313. Range 3,600 yards from Bloodhound. Oh, oh, yeah, get him, get him. All right, so Bridge, I can watch port lookout, now. merchant ship, CBDR, bearing 2, right, right, 3, right, right, 5, right. relative. Range closing quickly. I say again, CBDR. Okay. All escorts, contact Baker has most likely been sunk by a Bloodhound. Good job. Yeah. That's what I wanted to hear. Now we just go after Abel. Bloodhound, so, this is Antler. Us, Antler regained it. contact. Abel, bearing two, five, okay. one, range, 1,700 yards. Yeah.